Where are you going, Red Red? Hello everyone, welcome to a corner farming in the Philippines. I came out to do a video on our plans for the house here. Our sand pile has been turned into a sand mound by the dogs. They've been having a real party here with it. Uh, we're going to use the sand to do quite a bit more rendering in the house. Uh, I think we've got enough here to do all the inside walls. Uh, that's the plan. I'm going to take this coconut down to the pigs. What happened, doggy? What's wrong with your foot? Huh? We got a three-legged dog, it looks like. Anyway, we're going to render the inside walls, uh, the bedrooms, and the bathroom. Uh, that's all that needs to be done inside the house for rendering. And we may have enough, I don't know, we may have enough to get this wall done here. Uh, this next month, I want to get all the house rendered, uh, the outside coating. And maybe, maybe at some point, we'll also render uh, the water tank and make it look a little prettier. And we'll render the walls on the inside and the outside of the dirty kitchen. Just to try to beautify, beautify things up here a little bit. It's not important to me at all, the, the aesthetics, how things look. Uh, I just don't care. But Maricel, uh, you know, it is her home. She doesn't complain. She doesn't really uh, nag me about getting any of this done. But uh, a woman and their house, uh, they do like it to look nice. Uh, Maricel less than most. Uh, probably pretty much less than all uh, Western women that I was familiar with. But Maricel, not so much. Uh, but I do want to get it. I do want to get it fixed up a little bit. Uh, maybe the month after we'll get the ceilings put in. In all the rooms. Because right now we only have a ceiling in the bedroom. In our, in our bedroom. So that we can have the air con. And uh, be comfortable for sleeping at night. So that's kind of the plans that we're doing here uh, to finish rendering completely this house. We'll, uh, we ordered two cubic yards of sand and we'll probably need five or six more, maybe seven more to get all this rendering that I want done done, but we'll get it done. Also going to put some uh, fascia up here uh, to enclose the, this part of the house. Uh, from the, the, oh, what's the word? Well, from the top of that wall up to the roof. Can't think of the word. Uh, we'll put uh, Hardiflex. Hardiflex is the same material that has, has gone around this for skirting, basically, on the roof. Uh, we'll use that same Hardiflex uh, to fill that gap and basically seal the house from the top. Originally, it had been planned when Pastor Timio was kind of in charge of the construction here. It had been planned to use hollow blocks all up there and seal up the house that way. Uh, I don't, it takes so long for the guys here when they work with hollow blocks. I'm thinking we're just going to do it with a harder flex. It's much faster, much cheaper. And just anything, I've come to find anything you can do to get away from cement work here is the way to go so that's what we're going to do on the house those are some, kind of some plans on the house we may even paint it uh, as long as I can get Marcel talked into not painting it some kind of a green or an orange or a yellow actually yellow a light a light yellow uh, much softer than the motorcycle but a yellow a pale yellow I wouldn't mind but I'm a I'm more into blue or white uh, either of those colors. It's easy to trim. It's easy to have it look nice with a trim. I wouldn't mind it blue with white trim or blue with a lighter blue trim or white with a blue trim. Uh, doesn't matter to me. Uh, even a beige would be alright. Uh, a gray would be okay. Uh, just not. <laughs> Please everyone, don't encourage Marcel to paint this house. Uh, a puke green or uh, uh, 
Halloween orange or anything like that. Uh, no maroon. No purple. I'm going to have to arm wrestle, arm wrestler about that, I think. But those are the plans for the house. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.